Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com. You're joining me on a bike ride with a friend who's just out of shot as we're heading down towards St Martin's to have a look around and I wanted to open with this shot of this big lorry coming towards. This is It's a good lesson as to why you don't want to lose concentration even on seemingly quiet country lanes like this, especially as the lanes tend to get a lot narrower than they were there and particularly a lot more windy and over the summer months as the hedgerows grow out, a lot more blind bends. So I wanted to show you just a few of these roadside farms as they're so much at the roadside that I very often feel, I mean here you can see that this one's got buildings on either side of the road and it feels almost as if you're trespassing just going down the road and there's something about these sorts of farms where the road just seems to be part of their yard that I feel it's got a very sort of old world and it's how I imagine the past to be and when I've been walking around on the opposite side of Oswald Street from St Martin's I've found a few of those sort of places where you're just going down the road and then sometimes it's such a strong feeling of hang on is this actually the road or have I taken the wrong turn in that you almost feel that you can't possibly be just on a normal public road and you're not just going to walk straight up to their farmhouse by mistake so you'll probably realise now that we are finally getting into St Martin's after that big preamble. This is right next to where I normally walk out of the fields and climb up literally just behind where we are now when I'm walking from Narrowboat Tilly to get supplies from St Martin's. But the reason there's been so much of a build-up in this video that's been sort of before the actual village itself is basically because there's not a lot to see in the village and it's really one of those sort of unfortunate um, small places there's a lot of these around where the main road sort of cuts through the heart of the village and you'll see we're going to approach a little tiny roundabout now and really that's like the sort of main road we're coming to and again it's like I say it's not really a village like somewhere like Chirk maybe where there's a sort of a normal sort of high street with a few shops or anything there's only really stands here like stands is the sort of I don't wish to say there's stands and lens place the chippy really are two of the sort of most famous and when I say famous I mean that very much a tongue-in-cheek way but they're the most well-known um, features of St Martin's so we've come up to stands to grab a few supplies I've got a video where me and my friends like it just follows our day where we did a load of boating in the morning and then a big bike ride and Basically, we went into stands to grab a few bits and pieces to eat, and then you're seeing us now cycle down towards the canal. And I just wanted again to just throw in a few clips just so that the people who've been asking to see St. Martin's that I always talk about on these little supply run videos I'm doing, showing you all like the beautiful scenery over the fields and that. And there is Lens Place. Not sure if, how, if that's octagonal or not, but it's a it's a strange shaped building, and that's why it's sort of always been a well known feature. And really, like I say, I just wanted to throw a few of these clips out here, just so that anybody who is interested in St Martin's and there's people overseas who seem to always be interested in this sort of thing, um, can see it. Now, just on the right hand side there is my favourite um, pizza place ever, and I don't know what it is that. They seem to be consistently good, or at least they make the type of pizzas that I've enjoyed as in takeaways back when my friends used to live just not far away from here at Western Rin. That many of you who've been regular viewers on this channel will know about my love of um, takeaway pizzas. And again, it's very sad that I'm just getting too old now and I can't seem to just eat junk like I used to. Oh, but lovely stuff all the same when it's time. Um, anyway, I suppose at this point, as we're reaching the canal, I'll wrap things up and say thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to check out my other videos for loads of boat life videos, loads of general biking and getting out and about and just generally in the great outdoors. Loads more Shropshire scenery and stuff. But until the next time, keep it bike worthy, keep it boat worthy, have a fantastic day. Check the links in the description and of course, farewell.